Vetskin Imagist offers you access to AI faecal, dermatology and blood smear analyses, as well as digital cytology image transfer in a single platform. And now, with the introduction of this new test, you will have access to AI urine sediment analysis as well. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the new AI urine sediment application. To run an AI urine sediment analysis, you will need a laptop, tablet or mobile device, a Vetskin Imagist scanner, and the Vetskin Imagist Urine Sediment Kit. Before you begin, make sure your scanner is connected to the network and has been powered on. Prepare a urine sediment slide using the AI Urine Sediment Sample Preparation Kit and template provided by Zoetis. Refer to our how-to videos in the user's guide if you have questions. Prior to creating a slide, consider if dilution may be necessary. If the sample is hematuric or red before centrifugation and clear after centrifugation, use the dilution guide in the hospital resource guide to determine the dilution ratio to use. Include a meaningful label or handwritten text on the slide. Open your practice information management software and locate the record for the patient. In this demonstration, we're going to enter the treatment code for AI urine sediment for a test for Cody, a dog with the patient ID 2328. If your software is connected to Fuse, you can order the test from it. Open the treatment list, select AI urine sediment from the list of available tests, and click Done. Then log in to Imagist, and select Scan for the correct sample. Sample information will come pre-populated. If your software is not connected to Fuse, or you do not use software, you can order the test directly in the VetScan Imagist platform. Simply select the Add New Test icon, enter the patient ID, name and species, and select Scan. Choose the volume used, as well as the dilution ratio, if applicable. If you have additional information, please enter it at this step as well. This information will populate on your report and enable further diagnostic testing decisions. Once you have entered all the information, select a scanner. If the tray is closed, click the Open Tray button. If the tray is open, place the slide on it. Unlock the slide holder. With the locking mechanism open, place the slide on the scanner with the label towards the right of the tray, ensuring it is facing upwards. Close the locking mechanism. Before scanning, verify that the slide is facing the right direction and is aligned properly. The slide is not upside down and that only one cover slip has been used. Return to the VET scan Imagist and click the Scan Slide button. The scanner will take it from there. Click the Close button. Your test order has now been submitted. Navigate to the inbox. At the top are four tabs. The first tab is Pending Orders, where you can find the test status. When the AI report is finished, the test will move from the Pending Orders tab to the Ready for Review tab, and the result will be displayed. Find your specific test order and click the Review button to open the report in the Report Viewer. Imagist will automatically select the four best images from each masterclass. You can also manually select additional pictures for inclusion in the PDF report. If you would like to have a closer look at the slide, click View Slide, then zoom in as needed. Click View Objects to view all the images again. If you think the results may not be accurate, you can flag them by selecting the option at the bottom of the screen. A flagged result alerts Zoetis to look at the image for future improvements. You can also unflag the results once you have flagged them. Now finalise the report. This transfers it to VetScan Fuse and Zoetis DX where it can be seen with other diagnostic results. A View Report button will appear at the top of the screen. Click View Report to access the PDF, which you can download or print. To share the report for viewing within VetScan Imagist, click the Share button to bring up a link. Finalising the report also moves it from the Ready to Review tab to the Test History tab. Finally, the report is sent from Fuse to your Patient Information Management System, directly to the patient record. This completes the test order.
If you would like an expert clinical pathologist to review any of your AI urine sediment tests, you can request an add-on expert review. Initiate the test within your system, then go to the Vetscan Imagist application inbox and select Start for the correct sample. If your system is not connected to Fuse or you do not have a practice management software, you can create the test within Vetscan Imagist with the Add Test icon. Select Add on Expert Review, enter the same patient ID and name from the original test and click Create. The most recent results from that patient will be automatically selected. Verify the selection, changing it if needed and click Select Test. Enter information for the patient's breed, age and gender. The patient species is already set. Include a brief clinical history. Next click on the pre-populated sample card to add any additional information not entered in the original test, such as the dilution ratio. You can also attach additional JPG or PDF files that the pathologist might find useful. We strongly recommend attaching all available reports for the patient, including the CBC, blood chemistry, and urinalysis. You can add up to three scans in addition to the initial AI scan. For instructions on how to create a stained slide, see our additional how-to resources. We recommend adding a scan for a stained urine sediment smear or line prep slide. A stained slide allows the clinical pathologist to provide more information regarding the presence of bacteria, abnormal cells and other urine sediment elements. After attaching the files, click close if your request isn't yet complete or submit order if you're ready to submit your request. Your test order will show in the pending order tab while it is out for review. It will show as waiting for assignment or assigned to pathologist. The report will be available in the ready for review tab after the clinical pathologist finishes their review. After you review the report, click Acknowledge. This will move it to the Test History tab, as well as release it to FUSE and your patient information management system. Thank you for watching. For additional information, please visit zoetis.com.